So we're here at the SID Display Week here with the Holst Center. Hello, so who are you? Uh, I'm Hilke Ackerman from uh, Holst Center in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. And who are you? I'm uh, Pavel Malinowski. I'm uh, from IMEC, Belgium. And we are doing this, this work together within the framework of Holst Center. So, uh, what are we looking at here? So this is a, a demo of the fingerprint sensor. It's a it's fin, fin fin fingerprint sensor, semi-transparent, based on uh, oxide backplane, oxide TFT backplane, and uh, organic front plane. And this is the technology that uh, enables you to integrate fingerprint sensor in the display. Uh, so the the long-term roadmap is to to have the OLED light emitters and organic photo detectors in the same plane integrated within one component as a, as a display with integrated fingerprint scanner. And uh, so when they're talking, the other companies are talking about putting some kind of thing behind the OLED, right? Yeah. Is this different? This is uh, different in the sense that uh, often current uh, optical fingerprint sensors are based on uh, silicon and here we use uh, printed organic photodiodes as a front plane which means it's relatively cheap to upscale it to larger uh, device areas and it makes it a lot more suitable to have a fingerprint recognition over the full display area in your smartphone. The full display area will be fingerprint? Yeah, it's a fingerprint sensitive. So I can also show it in the demonstrator. I can put my finger basically down anywhere and you can see on the screen that it will capture it uh, at the different locations. So that has a really big benefit that you don't have to be location specific in your uh, display of the smartphone on where the fingerprint is, uh, uh, is, is, is captured. So how is it uh, the accuracy of this kind of fingerprint reader compared to like a separate uh, uh, dedicated fingerprint reader, the, the ones that are in the phones today? Yeah, that's another thing that here we are uh, very close to the to the finger, to the actual finger. So you have very little distance um, from your ridges and um, and the valleys to the actual detector. So here we are, we are working in a, a reflective mode. We are using a commercial backlight unit from a smartphone. Uh, and uh, the actual module is, is directly underneath your, your finger. And uh, the precision here, we are talking about a 200 ppi uh, demo. So this is 126 micrometer pixel pitch. We also have a prototype of 500 ppi, uh, which is 50 micron pitch. And this is the, the one that is can be compatible with FBI standard for, for biometrics. So that's the, the real resolution that you want to target. Uh, if you want to integrate it within the display, then you have to have uh, this 500 ppi resolution of the display and the fingerprint scanner. Uh, so this is where, where we have to use some more advanced scaling of the, of the pixel technology. But how is it possible to... Is, it only works with OLED, right? Or what kind of display? It's a, and mainly intended for OLED display. Yeah. So uh, how, how does it work? How can you have an OLED and this at the same time? So what you can have is uh, these photodiodes have originally been developed for uh, medical applications in x-ray. And there you would like to have uh, a sensitivity to very low light conditions. So if you have an OLED display, it's always a little bit semi-transparent, uh, even if it's not designed for it. So it can have like a transparency of only 1%, for example. But it is sufficient that the OLED is operating, emitting the light, being reflected from the finger, and then being detected behind the display on this image sensor. So uh, there's a, there's, you need this backlight to, to see something, right? In this, in this situation, if, it's, if the photo detector pixels are side by side with the OLED pixels, then you are using the, the display light as the, as the light source. Uh, so then it's about uh, the mode of working. When do you uh, emit light to, to record a fingerprint sensor? So this is all about the, the user interface and the interaction. So that the light is emitted when you put the fingerprint uh, finger on top of the display and only in that area. Uh, so so uh, is it very difficult to align things so there's somehow yours and the OLED at the same time? You have to align precisely or...? 
it so just the, gets printed out. The long-term vision that we have is to uh, to use photolithography techniques to uh, to have patterns, uh, photo detectors next to pattern OLEDs, so that you really uh, have the maximum usage of the area that you have. Because if we are talking about 500 ppi, you have only 50 micrometers that are available, 50 by 50 micrometers for all the colors of the OLED display and for the photo detector. So you don't really have too much space uh, and you have to figure out how to, to squeeze everything inside such a pixel. Is it going to be printed all in one go? Is there one printer, it's, kind of like a so, printer, you click a button and then the so OLED right. and the fingerprint reader and everything <laughs> comes out? That in would one? be a nice machine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it, no, it, no. In the in the real situation, you you would do it step by step, uh, different colors of the OLED and the, and the photo detector. <laughs> so here in this situation, the the photo detector layer is everywhere on top of the the entire surface, uh, which makes it also not as transparent as it could be. But since the photo detector detector is is so sensitive, uh, that it works still even with, with very um, low luminance from the backlight. We don't need to do the patterning because it's transparent enough. But in the in the future, if you want to integrate both uh, components together, this might be something that will help. And uh, you could eventually have some uh, some application where you, one finger launches one app, the other finger launches the other one. Can be. Yeah. Something this is like then it's it's all about let's say creativity of the software developers once we have the possibility to have the fingerprint anywhere on the screen. Uh, could this be a big issue for all these uh, borders and security people that are buying all this stuff? No, Why so, would they want to have this, uh, what they have now? So if you look at uh, what you get now at immigration, for example, on fingerprint scanners, that's all based on uh, also a reflective measurement with uh, small sensors. Uh, use uh, bulky prisms, for example. And this is technology because uh, if we do it on plastic foils, we can make it as thick as, say, 60 to 80 microns. Uh, and then you can easily integrate it in all kinds of services. And you can make it also larger. So here we can do, for example, four fingers at the same time, which is also what you use at immigration. But uh, the form factor is a lot uh, thinner compared to the current uh, fingerprint scanners. Also for robustness, this can be done on uh, foil substrate. So you are not dealing with, with, the, with the glass components, but you can have something that is kind of seamlessly integrated into some molds and, and more freeform uh, objects. So you can imagine that a full palm print scanner is, for example, in a, in a police uh, car. So you can do the, the full palm, uh, palm print scan directly in the, in the car when you catch somebody that you want to register. All right. So, uh, uh, what's next? Uh, some companies are going to take this and make it? Yeah, that's the yeah. plan. So, we have uh, a lot of industrial partners. Uh, some of them are in the process uh, where we transfer this technology for mass production. Uh, that is still a bit... Um, uh, for different applications though, for medical x-ray images, where you use the same kind of technology for medical flat panel detectors. Um, but we're also looking into companies that can do this uh, in mass production for fingerprint scanners, biometric, into all kinds of commercial uh, products. So the nice thing is that we have these technology blocks that we can uh, integrate and uh, based on the, the request from companies we can go in the direction of, uh, for example, folding this fingerprint uh, scanner around handlebar or door handle or other objects or integrating it with the display or going to large size or even uh, higher resolution so it a little bit depends on the on the demands but we are ready to to accept this these challenges yeah.